To me, this convening of um, experts, both at the grounds level as well as at the policy level, brought together a remarkable set of actors who are working along this continuum to think about resilience in different ways. And um, whether it was um, uh, whether it was questions that and answers that were provided by these ground level actors, or whether it was the big uh, questions and conundrums that we're asking at the policy level, which is, well, how do we define resilience? How can it be additional? And what can we do as an international, uh, in the international space, um, in terms of policy, as well as in terms of providing better and more, more compelling evidence about what works and what doesn't? Uh, those are the key things that I'm sort of taking away. So a couple of things that I think could, could work um, as we are going forward is to acknowledge, of course, that we are in this brave new world where that we have access to different sorts of technologies. And so there was some discussion about technologies and communications that we can use, but also different sorts of interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary thinking, for example, in complex systems and complexity. And I think it's really important for us to be harnessing a lot of that. Um, a key concern for me has been for a while um, how we're translating a lot of this knowledge into action, how we frame evidence uh, clearly biases action, both at, the, both at the grassroots level but also at the policy level. And there's incontrovertible evidence now that this is true. So what is becoming really important for us is to recognize that although we may be building a huge amount of knowledge and a huge amount of evidence on what works and what doesn't to increase levels of resilience, what we are not seeing is the crossing of the chasm from intention and knowledge on one side to action. And I think what we really need to be doing is to think in creative ways about how we can bridge it. So if we are thinking about behavioral insights and we are thinking about behavioral economics, uh, perhaps something for us as a group to think about is to learn what we can uh, in terms of what gets people to, to traverse that last mile and really translate a lot of our evidence into action.